We've been doing some problems converting between units in the metric system, between the English system and the metric system, and you're used to using scale factors to do that. Casey123960 said on YouTube, how do I do something like this? Convert from three kilograms per liter to grams per milliliter. A little more complicated than what we've done so far. What I would suggest is you take this in two different steps. Convert the kilograms to grams, and then convert the liters to milliliters. So we've got two different conversions going on, so we're going to need two different uh, uh, scale factors here. So the first question I need to ask is how many kilograms in a gram or vice versa grams in a kilogram? If you're not sure, I would say just type it into Google on the internet and you'll find out that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams, which means you can make two different scale factors out of that. You could put the kilograms on top and the grams on the bottom or the grams on the top and the kilograms on the bottom. Either one. Uh, one of those is going to work for us and we'll uh, figure out which one in a minute. Let's look at the other conversion we're going to have to do between liters and milliliters. Again, you should look that up if you're not sure how many milliliters in a liter. It's the same relationship actually. There are in one liter, there are 1,000 milliliters. So our conversion factors here would be either liters on top and milliliters on the bottom or milliliters on the top and liters on the bottom. Okay, so we've got our tools to work with now. Let's start with the original value here. We've got three kilograms per liter. What I want to do first is convert these kilograms to grams. So I want to take one of these guys um, to multiply by. And what I want to do, if the kilograms are on top, I want a, a conversion factor, a scale factor, that's going to have the kilograms on the bottom so that the kilograms cancel out, leaving me with grams on the top. So it looks like it's going to be this one. So I'm going to multiply this by 1,000 grams over 1 kilogram. And yes, the kilograms are going to cancel out here. Now I've got grams on the top, which is what I want for my answer, so I'm halfway there. The next thing I'm going to do is convert my liters to milliliters. And here, the liters are on the bottom, so I want liters on the top in my conversion factor. So it looks like this one is the one we'll use. So one liter is 1,000 milliliters. Now this is all set up. I can cancel my liters. What I'm going to end up with is just grams over milliliters. Those are the only units left. And now I just have to do the math here. This is 3 times 1,000 times 1. That's on the top. So that's 3,000. And it's 1 times 1,000 on the bottom. So that's 1,000. And this is grams over milliliters. And of course, 3,000 divided by 1,000 is just 3. So I end up with 3 grams per milliliter which seems kind of funny because we started with three kilograms per liter, but it really makes sense because there's a thousand grams in a kilogram and a thousand milliliters in a liter, so it's going to have the same number of kilograms per liter as grams per milliliter. So, Casey123960, I hope that helped.